Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping. Just looking at uh, various perimeter security options for prepper groups, uh, especially the smaller ones that may be between 15 to 25 individuals. Um, so what we have here is just trying to be a, a efficient and um, in terms of how you set up a perimeter patrol and guard. And uh, it also be uh, advantageous to have a rotation, uh, especially in the smaller groups. Uh, so that people can get rest, can get some food, and do other chores besides um, just being watchful and doing security perimeter. So here in the middle, we have our bug out location marked by the X. Uh, it could be our retreat or our point of command for our prepper group. Now, with this particular command, you'd want to have um, uh, a main uh, type of perimeter set up. This could actually be a, a physical actual fence system uh, which would be awesome or even better a wall that would be made out of um, you know stones or uh, bricks or other type of heavier materials uh, that would be really great um, and tall enough that it would be at least somewhat of a challenge to get over on uh, these three points because as you can see we're making this uh, this pyramid or triangle type situation here that um, on these uh, on these points uh, on the end is where we're going to have uh, our guards. So we have our first guard here, our second guard here, our third guard here. And as you can see, uh, this first guard, his uh, his field of view is starts all the way over here, and it bubbles out and comes over all the way over to number three. So he's got this large expanse uh, field of view. Number two is similar to that. He, he starts over here, and it bubbles all the way around to number three. So you got this uh, overlap here. And so this overlap, we'll just uh, scribble this in here, uh, overlap. Now, number three, his field of view is going to be from two all the way over to one. And as you can see, once again, we have more overlap. And also here, more overlap. So we have redundancy and overlap in our... Um, an actual our guards view a uh, field of view and at the same time uh, we have a pretty nice perimeter uh, it would also be advantageous if possible and, and if the staff was available to have out here uh, further out so that uh, we don't have to uh, meet the enemy at our gates or our walls but to have a patrol uh, out even further it could be just two of them that have a uh, 180 degree range or it could be four of them if you had that staff uh, to do such, and they can just rove, uh, you know, side to side, uh, back and forth, and, uh, you know, in, in conjunction with the other ones, and they can rotate out, or they can go and get some sleep, or what, you know, whatever. You can rotate them out every four to six hours, whatever is the agreement. This way it gives you more response time when the patrol picks up that there's a threat, they can alert the other patrol to congregate to help, uh, you know, immediate uh, the situation. And these guys on the on the upper um, uh, the triangle uh, lookouts uh, will have a better response time and be able to uh, pull reinforcements from you know the inner core uh, to reinforce them if they need to be uh, activated. So these are just some ideas for uh, perimeter security and using the most efficient designs uh, to secure a location. Uh, this is sometimes what the military uses on a larger scale, obviously. Uh, of course, they have, uh, you know, uh, air support and uh, heavy artillery to keep people at bay. But uh, just for the average citizen that uh, may have small arms only, uh, these are going to be... Um, uh, a layout that uh, requires the minimal amount of people. You know, you have three here. Uh, you hopefully have a couple reinforcements that are on the ready that are kind of like Minutemen to help back them up at any time. And then have anywhere from, uh, you know, even one, but uh, probably at least a minimum of two. Uh, and, and, you know, four to six would be even better. Uh, these are just ideas. Uh, if you have any other ideas yourself about perimeter security, uh, please put them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.